most everyone comes in here thinks that I'm from New York. I was born in Virginia, raised in Virginia. Donnie DeGeorgis opened Donnie D's Bagels and Deli in Delville in 2018. He's a Southern Virginia boy who's breaking the mold on who can make a good New York style bagel. Usually if you teach us folks down here in the South, we can pick up most things pretty easily. And if you're one of those who says a New York bagel can only be made in New York because of the water, he has a clever answer for you. As long as it starts with a V, you know, Botetourt, Brooklyn, same thing, water's water. But before we get to one of these plump bagels, we have to go back 24 hours. Once the dough is run through their mixer, it's cut into strips, then weighed out into five ounces of dough because like we do in the South, Donnie makes it bigger. Most New York bagels are probably four, four and a half ounces. I just wanted a bigger sandwich, I wanted a bigger bagel, I wanted everybody to really get their money's worth, I guess. The bagels are formed on these tubes, spaced out on a board covered in cornmeal to prevent sticking and put onto a large rack to take a nap overnight in the cooler to harden. A bagel now has nothing, there's nothing there. With this one here, you have, you have almost a crust there that's gonna kind of give you that chewiness. Then each day at 3 a.m., the baker comes in to put the final touches in motion with a boil, then a bake in what looks like a big oven, but in the bagel world... It's very small. It's actually half the size of what it would have been if I had a traditional space, but we're running it kind of like a submarine in here. Bumping elbows ain't so bad when you're working with good people. My team consists of two of my oldest sons, then I also have my wife that's working here. Um, and then everybody else is, uh, I, I feel like they're my family. And over on Quality Control, Donnie and his wife Ashley's young son, Mason. Their bagels are fabulous, just like the ones I ate in New York City. We've seen the process, now the final product. The Big D, bacon, ham, sausage, the cheddar jalapeno bagel. I'm telling you right now, there is so much flavor and a crunch in that bagel. Blueberry muffin comes out of the side. It's like a nice dessert with every meal. This is what we call the cheesesteak special. It smells delicious on the everything bagel. This was one of those things that they didn't put right on the menu when they started out. They wanted to make sure it was perfected. That's pretty doggone close to perfection right there. Bagels that didn't sell the day before are put through this bagel chipper, dried out, seasoned, then baked one more time for a unique side, served with a bacon cheddar cream cheese. A great idea. Third of a pound hot dog. It's a boar's head hot dog that we actually cook here. The white onions, our homemade uh, Coney Island chili, coleslaw, and then a order of fries. This is a North Carolina style dog. Chili, slaw, mustard, onions. Boom, that's it. That homemade chili packs quite the punch. How about a little Chipotle mayonnaise? Whoa! A beignet, it's New Orleans type of a thing. Just gonna be some uh, pastries here. Powder sugar and then we drizzle it with a little bit of caramel sauce. The world exclusive right here on Hometown Eats. Brand new on the menu. I don't know what a deep fried donut would taste like but I feel like it's got to be awful close to this. Whoa. If you're in a hurry, you can choose from over a dozen different bagels, several deli meats, and don't forget that cream cheese. But if you've got the time, come in, sit down, and slip away to your memories of Manhattan. Without a doubt, this is the place to come. I, I just can't recommend it enough. Donnie D's Bagels and Deli. A Mason approved hometown eat.